Hello everyone. Um, welcome back to my INFP diary. It's Easter day. Today Easter. I watched Jesus from Nazareth movie. I've been so I don't know how to put it. Invested in that movie since I was young, and Jesus of Nazareth was was and is still my best Jesus movie ever. I've watched The Passion of Christ, though I've not watched it like up to three times. I watched it when I was little, though I don't really have memories of when I was little watching it, but I know I did watch something really, you know, brutal when I was little, like, and I could remember the main lead face, Jesus character. And then when I was in secondary school, we, they played it for us in one of our church gatherings, and then I got to watch it again. And I don't know, but there was a level I could handle. I could not really watch it well at that time. I could not really handle watching the graphic scenes. It was so, like, it was too much for me to handle then. But Jesus of Nazareth, I've been so invested in that movie, like, for as long as I can remember. Like, almost every year, I must watch that movie. So let's just say, now I'm going to 21. Sorry, I'm already 21. I was 21 on 27th of March this year. So I am actually, should I say, I have spent 21 years of my life. No, or should I say, I have watched Robert Powell. No. Franco Zerfrilli's, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well, but that's what I know. Franco Zerfrilli's Jesus of Nazareth about 21 times, or more than 21 times. Never for once have I complained that this, is it the series or the movie is too long because I felt it captured almost everything it needed to capture about the life of Jesus Christ. I know that it added some you know fictions and some characters that were not in the bible originally but then i was so immersed in even those fictional scenes because they kind of put more meaning to the biblical scenes maybe the non-biblical character zera but just that zera being in the picture made judas not to look so um so bad like that it made judas to have this i started to feel for judas like as though judas was manipulated or something so i just i had to ask myself if maybe actually judas was that bad the way the bible painted it you know i don't want to doubt anything that the bible says and so instead of me taking it that way, I just decided to focus on the movie for the movie and focus on my Bible for my Bible. I decided to take a look at this Jesus from Nazareth again today. And, you know, it gets new every time. Every time it gets new. There's some new resolutions that I just told myself I would do right now. Like, I would make it right now. And I think where I have a pen and paper, so I'll write them down. Um, right now I'm not in the usual place I would sit down and film this diary but then I won't like that won't stop me from making the diary right that's one there is another Jesus movie that I encountered three years ago that I just came to fall in love with so much how did I get that? I think my dad my dad just came home one day and he brought this the bible's mini series in a dvd pack and we watched it because i'm so curious about bible movies and the fact that this one is the bible like i was curious about different places of the bible you know i've never seen like a visual representation of the biblical characters maybe like something except for cartoons i'm talking about like real acting so i wanted to see the visual representation of these characters and i was so curious about that i watched it the actors from adam to 
from Adam down to Nebuchadnezzar, down to Daniel, down to everyone, they all did well. Like they all did well. I like that the Bible miniseries did not make the storylines too long, but there were some scenes I would have loved them to add. But I like that it was not too long like that. Like for each person's parts, and they put like the important part they needed to put. So I felt like the producers, the directors, the actors, they put so much thought into the work, and then they brought out a very fabulous show. Well, that's one aside. Now to the hero of the series, Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> oh, like my God, I so much love. I still remember the first time I saw Jesus entering the scene from with the title that plays the Passion. That CD divided it into like different sections. There is the Passion, there is the Crucifixion, there is something else, something, something, something. I've forgotten all of them, but then like they were so moving. From the time Jesus entered the scene from when, you know, they showed the young Jesus when he was looking at people being crucified. And one thing I loved about the whole mini-series mostly centered on Jesus part was the OST or the soundtrack that played I was so in love with the soundtracks the soundtracks were so cinematic like it really gave the it really gave the vibe that I was looking for in the movie like if maybe you wanted to compare it to other Jesus movies I mean like the soundtrack just gave it away I was able to feel the series because of the soundtrack Creation Cora. I mean, that's one of my BGMs. I still play each time I'm reading my books. And in the beginning and fate, there are so many, but there's one I'm still looking for till now. I can't find that one. Like, I'm still trying to find it. If I can see it anywhere, I would like look for how I'll download it. They played it in only two scenes in the whole the Bible mini series and. The first thing is when um, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were put in the burning furnace. And the second thing was where Judas betrayed Jesus, or he was on his way to betray Jesus. I don't know how, how I'm able to remember these things, but I just remember. Like, it's just the same way after being invested in Jesus of Nazareth, starring Robert Powell for millions, let's not exaggerate here, for years. I mean, I can't watch jesus of nazareth right now without narrating some of the scenes exactly as it is for example from the time he was talking about the kingdom of god i'll be like oh the kingdom of god comes not away for sin by man but repentance i believe the good news the kingdom of heaven behold his son lay upon you what is scriptures away from him he's a blasphemer like i can't watch jesus of nazareth without replaying these scenes very well i don't know but i just feel the emotions that the actor would have felt or maybe Jesus himself would have felt while saying those lines because those lines are originally said by Jesus himself so I was like I've always had that tendency to take in those lines and when I'm watching the movie over again they just occur naturally to me the best thing about Jesus and Nazareth movie that I really enjoyed is the fact that for that time, 1975 or 1971, I mean, they, uh, art has always been dynamic. My God, I love art. I mean, why? The camera angles are so giving. The angles are so, they are so perfect. I mean, the exact, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> they are so perfect. The time when Jesus wants to, release an iconic scene an iconic scene an iconic line the angle they give him is so magnificent like when he wanted to say for god to love the world the fact that he just turned his hair and he was not looking he sometimes he looks straight at you or he looks straight at the camera sometimes he look up sorry sometimes he looks up sometimes he looks maybe to the side or to the person he's talking to and maybe because his eyes are dazzling blue or dazzling green or that added to the glamour for me oh my heart but damn i feel the characters of those days were so like good looking it's today it hits me they were so good looking without effort i mean olivia rodrigo whatever her name was is it olivia hussey 
she's so good looking like wow so not very serious let's start from robert powell himself he's so good looking yeah his mother then like you know when you've watched a movie maybe when you're a little and when you're looking at it now you'll be like am i the one who thought these people were good looking like excuse me what was i thinking then? but these people actually they are still good looking pia, pia, pia. i skipped my main my other hero diogo mogardo portugal wow wow um, the way he brought his own character of jesus to life i was so overwhelmed maybe i was taken back by his good looks or something because he's so good looking why is my hair swelling at the top let's just bring out some volume okay it was okay like this yeah Okay, I'm giving this youthful like, but it's okay. I remember looking up the character for the first time and the name was so catchy. I said, okay, well, Diogo Morgan. Diogo Morgan. Oh, why am I calling someone's name like that? Oh no. <laughs> Don't mind me, please. I'm just being so unnecessarily out of place or extra. So, Diogo Morgado puts emotion in. I feel like everyone, <sighs> human beings are unique. Everyone is unique. He put this, his charm was in this. You know, Robert Power mentioned something about his eyes. Yeah, that's true. His eyes were given. I feel Diogo, does, Diogo also has it in his eyes. Diego's eyes were so I don't know they gave off the right emotions you know while Robert Powell has he was like while Robert had the humble yet firm look like each time I watch Robert Powell's Jesus demonstration I can imagine Jesus coming back to judge like you know that feel like when Jesus is coming back to judge the earth I can imagine it in Robert's representation but when I'm imagining like Diogo brought a version of Jesus that I haven't seen before in other dramas and that is this Jesus that is so 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 compassionate from Diogo's representation I feel like he was so welcoming <sighs> The thing is, Diogo did a wonderful work as Jesus. It's like I'm adding weight. Look at my cheeks all puffy. <laughs> Did I lose weight for a man's fragile cover? That reminds me, I was so. Let me give a tip on my anti fragile cover. Oh, it was stressful. Number two. I wasn't perfect like in any way this one is not me self depreciating myself like this is the truth there are many ways I do not really make up to mark but I wasn't concerned because the time I had the motivation for anti-fragile was a long time ago and this time I just wanted to send the meaning across that was my mind at that moment so I wanted to pass the meaning so i tried putting my best into it maybe my emotions did not really come true as i wanted but then i think i just tried there are many ways i could see my fault very well even as i edited it i could see my fault both in the editing because my editing was supposed to be better than lilac i wanted move to be better than lilac move ended up to be manageable maybe due to the camera but then it's manageable then lilac then sorry this anti-fragile and um you know as a christian i pray to reach an old age so like reaching that old age looking back on what i've done would be so satisfying i made a new mission for myself 
I'm gonna land a British accent. Yeah, because I want to speak. I don't know. Robert's diction is so. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. It's so given. I thought maybe it was something he adapted for the Jesus of Nazareth movie, but after watching Harley Quinn and watching his interviews, my God, it is normal. It is his normal accent. It is him. Like, God, it's heavenly. I mean, as a female fangirling. The fact that I was so surprised that there's a personality tagged for people like me, and there are people like me, and um, I'm not the only one that's like me in this world. I was so dumbfounded by that. I mean, that's so, that's so wonderful. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, like that line. I can say it verbatim. Like, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites all, for you shall, for you shall have the kingdom of heaven against men. You do not enter yourselves, or do. For some reasons, I could not hear some parts. Like, I've tried to hear some. Like, maybe the next line after that, I'm always trying to hear. But maybe I used to hear that. No, do you allow us to enter? Something like that. So, let's see. Blind guides. You will stray at, at a net and swallow a camel. You will bow before the letters of the law and violate the heart of the Lord. Justice, mercy, good faith. Then my best line. You're like white heated civil card, all full and clean without, but within, full of dead men, bones, and no corruption. Oh, I love that. I tell you, there'll be no stone upon another that will not be cut down. Yours, not yours, please, is the house of desolation, the home of the lizard and the spider. Serpents, scorpions, how can any of you escape damnation? Oh, oh my heart, my fluttering heart, my heart. Oh, Jesus is so real. Like, this, this one is not, it's not the actors now. Jesus was so cool. He is cool. I mean, the real Jesus is cool saying that boldly that boldness each time i talk about a scene from the bible or oh, jesus or jesus from nazareth my siblings who just like she has come again she's 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 she come again 